okay guys i have a quick update to share with you before then wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day okay let me also use this opportunity and wish you guys a happy new month today is the first day uh in the month of uh april 2022 just as you have seen on your screen Gunmen kill a Bubagu operative in a Boeing state. I will give you more details on this. Uh, but before then, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your bell notification uh, so you get updated whenever I publish a new video, update news and stories like this for you guys. So according to report, gunmen have killed an operative of a Bubagu. We already know a Bubagu, the security outfit uh, that was set up by um, Southeast governors okay so his name is um iboko christian okay he was um allegedly killed uh the report says thursday night today is friday so um according to a uh, report the guy is a graduate and uh, you understand what that means uh the guy is a graduate and because he couldn't uh, get a job he had to join uh the ebubiago security outfit Okay, um, it's only uh, in, uh, should I say Nigeria, not only Nigeria, but mostly in Africa, where their leaders are power drunk. Uh, you go to school and spend about seven years. And then after graduation, you still need to spend another 10 years in the house before securing a job or getting something that will be taking you out. So the guy um, is a graduate and due to unemployment, he had to join uh, the Ebubeagu security outfit. Okay, um, remember it sparked outrage when the, this Ebubeagu security outfit were seen training with two by two planks. And then a lot of people were questioning, are you training these guys with two by two planks to go and fight the unknown gunmen, people that are armed, people with AKs? And then you train these guys with planks to go and fight other criminals that are using guns. I mean, let us look at it. It doesn't make sense at all. Okay, so um, I believe maybe this Ebubago has been, you know, going around with, um, you know, security uh, personnel and so on. And maybe the reason why, personally, my own opinion, the reason why I feel uh, most of these things happening to this Ebubago security outfit, uh, they may be as a kind of informant uh, to security outfit, maybe the police, the DSS, and so on. Okay, so I believe uh, the news coming in almost every time that the Bubeaku uh, Agu security outfit, uh, the personnel has been slaughtered, has been killed, and so on. Who knows? That could be the grievance of these unknown gunmen. Now, let me tell you something. These people calling themselves unknown gunmen, I don't think it is too hard. For Southeast governors, for Southeast leaders to battle these criminals. If they were able to track somebody like Namdekanu all the way to Kenya, I mean, Southeast, is it that too much uh, for the security outfit to track these criminals out? Remember Hobu Zodima of um, Imo State visited Buari some times ago. And um, after the meeting, he said more security personnel, more guns have been released to him to fight this unknown gunman. And before you know it, this guy struggles than 48 hours again. Yes. So I believe um, if this insecurity, the Southeast governors want to fight this insecurity to an end, believe me, they will do it. Of course, they will do it. Now, can you, do you try to imagine how people are being tracked? Okay, how people are being tracked in the name of IPOB members and then they got arrested, uh, jailed them in prison for like months before releasing them. And why is it so difficult to track these unknown gunmen? It's a question everybody should ask. And these guys, personally, I believe, because this is more like a vigilante group, Personally, I believe if this guy had gotten employment and unemployment mostly is the root cause of all these criminalities. 
and like a, 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 like the unknown government, it's not as if they are operating like bandits where they kidnap people for ransom. They only come for destruction. I feel this has to do with politics because these guys, they are not demanding any ransom. You know, try to imagine all those, come to think of that. These guys only destroy things. They only go out to destroy the economy of the Southeast. It's not as if they are doing that for ransom, unlike uh, the bandit and others. Then who are the sponsors? Who is bankrolling them? Who is sponsoring these people? Of course, bullets are expensive. Guns is expensive as well. Who is sponsoring these people is a question everybody should ask. Okay? So personally, I feel that it has to do with politics. It has to do with politics. It's my own personal opinion. This is not... Uh, uh, the issue of IPOB. This is not the issue of Eastern Security Network. It has to do with politics. And believe me, it's not as if these guys cannot be tracked down. Yes. Don't be surprised. Government can play politics with people's life. They don't care. Nothing, nothing. National Assembly, they are threatening to shut down until Buari gives as in a decisive instruction order against bandit. They attacked the airport. And um, it was it Saturday? They had to attack the railway. Everybody life is not safe. Everybody is in danger. The Kaduna Abuja rail, uh, uh, rail line were attacked by terrorists. I think eight people were killed. Yes. And now, the reason why this man is raising alarm now is because they were thinking that um, Abuja is a safe heaven for them. And now nowhere is safe. Nobody is safe. Nowhere. So they are now raising alarm. Most of those lawmakers, it has been like eight years, two years, three, three years. They have not visited their own village. Why? Because of fear of insecurity. In the north day. They have not visited their village. So Abuja was a safe haven for all of them. And now it is approaching Abuja. They have to raise alarm. Don't be surprised. Most of these politicians will be ruling from Dubai. Of course, they will be ruling from Dubai. They will be ruling from another part of the world. All right, guys, um, I quickly want to update you on the... Uh, dead of this Abu Beago security outfit. I mean, look at the promising young man uh, losing his life in the name of working for security outfit for the state government. And at the end of the day, nothing will be done about it. The family member may not be compensated or whatsoever. It's so pathetic. Okay, guys, um, I will see you in another update.